Hi, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome to Woman Up. Kasama po natin si Miss Susie Rojas. Hi, Susie. Hello, Arian. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Hello, kamusta naman? Okay naman. Uh, sa Makati, medyo na-lift na yung ECQ. No? Sa panibagong bukas ang nahaharap namin sa Makati. Nakikita mo na yung mga tao na lumalabas sa bahay. Mm -hmm. uh, the dogs, they're being walked already. Yung mga iba't ibang shop sa mall bukas na. Nagpaayos na ako. Nakapag-paayos na ako ng cellphone. Oh! Eh, <laughs> yes. And then uh, nakapagpamili na ako sa shoe mart ng doorknob para sa pintuan ka sa nasira siya during lockdown. So, mukhang uh, pa papunta na tayo doon and uh, paunti-unti nang dumadami yung mga kotse mm -hmm. sa, sa kalsada. A and so, people are getting, getting back to the way things are. Uh, however, Starbucks is still empty, meaning, yes, it's open, but there are one, two people in there during normal time, right? At 7, 8 in the morning, that's full, right? This time, one or two people. The supermarkets, still the same. The shoe mart, the shopping mall, shoe mart, and Glorieta, very, very few people inside, probably two or three that you will see roaming around. I think People are trying to get excited again about life. And that's good because the hopefulness is what's coming out more. The hopefulness that things are going to work out and, and money will be spent again and people will have their dreams. And people are now maybe hopefully recognizing that the catastrophe that they thought was, will, will be, may be recovering already a little at a time. Did you, um, was it the first time you went out? Monday, yes. Yeah. And did you feel, because I haven't been out. You have not? No. So, um, I, I, I mean, I go out, like, outside of the house, like, in the garden, like, you know, the backyard, mm. or maybe, like, in front of the house to just go around biking, just so I can catch some you know sun and i've i i have this um feeling of a, a bit of anxiety to go out because i don't know what to expect is there uh, is there going to be traffic again and you know since um you know covid was really um it's not you know you don't know if you have it or not sometimes so there's this fear now what if i expose myself to um, people who are asymptomatic. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, How did you prep yourself for the first um, step? I didn't think about it, honestly. Uh, I just thought I will wash my hands, I will put on my mask, but I'm going to live my life. I... I don't see how it's going to help to be ruled by the fear that it can happen. And so I worked on that premise instead of the fearfulness. Albeit, it, it's, although, yes, uh, that the, the pulse is still, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how we're going to deal with things. Uh, my other set of clients, for example, They've already trans, they already changed their mood of work completely. Until the end of the year, no one is going to step into the office. Mm. And so they've changed all the meetings, they've changed all the conferences to online. And uh, what they're finding out though, and what people are finding out though, is that it isn't really as bad as they projected it to be. The Armageddon is not going to happen. It is just going to be a little bit different or may, well, different than what it used to be. But it is not Ermageddon. It is not, we're all going to go, the, the economy is going to go bankrupt as much as it is that all businesses are going to have a difficult time. It is not that we're all going to die. It is that we will live as long as we take these extra steps. 
So I think that's what I saw maybe in the malls. It's the hunch. It's everybody is real waking up to the new tomorrow. They're hedging whether to go or on out or not, but slowly people are taking, they uh, just trying it out, putting a little foot down the door, put a, going to going to Pizza Hut a little bit, going to McDonald's a little bit for takeout, rather than before, which is just order, 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 order. So those changes are there. Uh, the startup community; these are the IT communities, young business communities, uh, young business providers are also launching their internet businesses. So new businesses are coming up, new types of work are coming up. Uh, the mental health uh, occupation is coming up. The types of jobs maybe are different. So the reskilling, uh, other than being a call center agent, people are learning how to troubleshoot iPhones and troubleshoot internet and laptops because everybody needs a laptop and an internet phone. So the jobs may be different. Now in the new normal, the jobs may be different. It may be more digital based versus more hands-on based. And so the opportunity for the, for the OFWs, the women in particular, is to really learn online yes. how to do work. And there are a multitude of online, of of uh, businesses online or online mm -hmm. work that needs women's help, editing, writing, copywriting, those are all available online. So it's a function of looking for the websites, asking people, investing in a few classes to train yourself to do that, and then do that as well. Now everybody who runs a conference must have an ebook. What is an ebook? It is a PDF format. It's an internet format of a book. And now there are apps that allow you to do those formats for free. So if a woman had a laptop at home, those are one of the things that they can offer. How do you get, um, you know, for people who, are, who haven't gone out yet, how do you mentally um, prepare for going out, going out and like, you know, it's it, for some people, it's really like a big step to go out. The first movement is to ask yourself, what am I achieving with my fear? What is my fear feeding me? Is it feeding my lack of confidence that I can't, that's why I can't go on? Is it feeding my inertia because I've been 21 days at home? I'm I'm just lazy to change again. Is it maybe feeding the belief that uh, things will never change, that everything is going down to go down in the drain and all we need to do is stay home? So is, is it uh, the lack of self-confidence? Is it the fear of change? Or is it the fear of something new? And those are all mindsets that keep us where we are right now so in order to shift that it is to see the possibilities that are that are out there hence yes it is the new normal it's not the same but the new normal doesn't have to be against me it can simply be a few more skills that i can add on to what i already know to create a job that i want if i am afraid to go out it is if i stay home what will I achieve by staying home? Am I going to get a new skill or am I just going to stay home because I'm scared? Though answering the question or facing your fear and saying, what am I going to achieve by being where I am and insisting that things are going to be this way and seeing the cost of that to you in terms of being non-competitive, for three, four months down the line, you will no longer be competitive. And everyone else who has moved on have now four or five months and exponentially been better than you. Ang hirap ng habulin yon. If you wait more six more months, mahirap ng habulin yon. Na unahan ka na. Yung Facebook page mo, yung leche flan mo na magaling ka magluto, yung kapit bahay mo, pinahiram mo ng recipe, nagbake siya ng leche flan. Six months down the line, she's already been selling. Ang hirap mong kunin yung kliente. 
That's true. Ba? Oh, yung gumarun, yung nag-enroll sa e-book course at gumawa ng e-book naka in month 2 or month month 3, meron siyang nakausap na DJ for example na kailangan ng e-book, ginawan niya ng e-book, nag-train siya pagkatapos nag-recommend yung DJ ng friend of a friend of a friend, di nakaapat na e-book na siya. Paglabas mo, wala ka ng client, wala ka pang kliyente. Magsa-start up ka na naman. Di 8 months naman yung lag time mo. That's true. Pag nakita mo yung effect ng staying home, na ayaw mong mag-adjust at ayaw mong uh, mag-fail at ayaw mong matuto ng bago, makikita mo na ang laki-laki ng hahabulin mo at mas magiging mas magiging mas babagsak pa ang self-confidence mo dahil lahat ng iba na una na siya at ang hirap na nilang habulan habulin. Yes, you know, I've really heard, I've heard of people who weren't even doing any uh, didn't have businesses before who started their online businesses because uh, during the during the quarantine. So now they're really like earning a lot. They've discovered so much about themselves. So you can really say I I think um this is why they say that um, this um, pandemic is really the survival of the fittest, not only of the physical but also the mental um, and the coping mechanism of the of um, people. It's a redefine, just like you, right, Baria? You never thought you could do hosting. Yeah. Well, what are you doing now every day? You have a whole YouTube show now, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you never thought you could do this. You didn't realize that you had so many friends that you could pull on to a video thing. And all of a sudden, all these people like Osman and Wendell, they came crawling out of the woodwork. And now you have uh, a music thing, right? And now you're thinking of how you're going to make the video more exciting. Can you imagine, had you just said, had you sat back two months ago and said, oh, let's just wait until things get better and then we will have the show again in Duty Free. That's true. Because duty free will not happen end of the year. It's not going to happen anymore. And the issues and the talks that you prepared for the duty free are no longer relevant. I totally agree. So yeah. if you if you don't if you don't hustle, if you don't focus on your abilities and focus on your resources and focus on the skills that you already have in order to jump into the bandwagon, the further and further and further you will be in the catch-up race. You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, diba? I make lemon cakes. So, <laughs> thank you so much for your time, Susie. Thank you so much to everyone who watched today. And remember, every day we woman up. Woman up. <laughs>